Now, it's that time of year again. From the cat in the hat to Harry Potter, the very hungry caterpillar, children are dressing up as their favourite fictional characters because tomorrow is World Book Day. Oh, do you remember that panic when you realise it's looming? Yeah. And someone needs a costume? A last-minute Harry Potter. <sighs> yes. It's tricky, isn't it, with household finances tight? Some schools have come up with an idea to help ease the pressure on parents by asking pupils to wear their pyjamas instead of a shop bought costume to represent bedtime stories. Let's take a look. You could put a little bit of makeup on your face, couldn't you, and some silly years on a headband. Mm -hmm. So that would be easy, wouldn't it? Every, every child have got a pair of pyjamas or a pretty dress or even school uniform for Matilda. They could um, dress up as something very simple or reuse an old costume that they had or just wearing jeans and T-shirts or normal clothes and being just a normal character from a book that they've read. She's coming as Hermione from Harry Potter. She's just wearing a school skirt, school shirt, so no extra money. And we bought her a wand from a charity shop. And that's her done. She's a massive Harry Potter fan, but like if we went out to buy something, like the cloak on its own would be £20. Then you'd have to add a wand, then you'd have to add like the shirt, the tie, everything else. But it's simple. My little one's happy, she's Harry Potter, and it didn't cost me much. Great ideas, because it can be so competitive, can't it, in the yes. playground? People's not necessarily competitive among the children. Maybe it's more among the parents. I think you're right. I, I think know. you're totally right. Well, yeah. we're joined now on the sofa by the chief executive of World Book Day, uh, Cassie Chatterton. Morning, Cassie. Good morning. And by the children's author and illustrator, Rob Biddle. Good morning to you, Rob. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. I guess that's what it's about. It's, it, it's not about the dressing up and the costumes. It's about... It's about reading. It's about reading, yeah. World Book Day is a charity whose purpose really is to encourage children to read for pleasure because of the improved life chances this will bring them. So, yeah, we always say, we always encourage schools, we always encourage children and families to think about something that will really work with them. Dressing up is really popular for lots of people, and if you enjoy that, that's wonderful, but there are lots of really low-cost ways or no-cost ways or just alternative ways to get into the spirit of World Book Day and show your enthusiasm for reading in different ways. Pajamas, a great idea. Absolutely, yeah. We could or, have a pair of pajamas. Yeah. What other things could you suggest that maybe aren't so expensive, also stressful for parents? Yeah, and of course, because we want to encourage children to read for pleasure, let's take the pressure off and make it this a, a, a lovely celebration of reading. So yeah, pajamas are a great option, or come in your cosy clothes, or maybe do a craft activity. So there are some great activities that can um, encourage children to express what they really care about, their favorite books that they can get really into and, and show off in the same way that doesn't involve getting into a whole costume. Q, Rob. Yeah, <laughs> this is my bit. Yeah, this is your yeah, bit. Yeah, this is me now. Yeah. Tell us why, because as an illustrator, you want to bring books to life. Of course, you want to, you want to bring books to life. Um, and I was lucky, lucky, lucky enough to be asked to do one of the official World Book Day books, which is this one here. Brilliant. And this story is about a boy who lives in a block of, block of flats where you're not allowed to have pets, so he decides to draw himself his own pet. So this is actually a really good story for, in terms of the costume as well, because children can draw their own pet, cut it out, bring it into school, and that's their costume. And I think I'm going to show you how to draw. Oh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, so that book will be going into book bags so this, for free, will it? As well, as what you, you can get this book for free, can't you? With your yes, every yeah. child in the country gets given a World Book Day voucher that they can exchange for one of the 12, 12 or thirteen. Twelve or sorry, yes. Twelve or thirteen yeah. World Book Day official titles. Um, they can choose whichever one they want and they can get it for free. And they're also available for a pound each, just a pound each. So okay. they're very, very Great. cheap. Shall I do some drawing? So Show us start. some drawing. Yeah. All right, Go OK. On. I don't know if you can see my bit of paper. So I did, in the, in the lockdown, I started a thing called Draw With Rob. So lots of your viewers might well know Draw With Rob. And what we do, we break the drawings down into little bite-sized pieces. So I'm going to start with a pair of eyes. Then I'm going to do like a big P shape. Like this. Rob, are you able to hold it up slightly oh, while you're doing it? That like would really help, and then people yeah, are yeah. on good way. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, I Sally and I are getting a bit like that. Okay, should we do it there like this? There we go, that's yeah, it. That's okay, great. we're around like this. Okay, so then I'm going to draw my horse's mouth like so. Big teeth. So it's very easy. So kids <laughs> can do this at home and then cut it out and bring it into school as their little pet. Let's add a bit of horse hair up there. We'll do the whole body, shall we? We'll do the whole thing like this. A very simple horse. Nice, easy legs. Like so. 
you guys could do this, right? What do you know what, Rob? Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> yeah, we did. In the traditions one. of children's TV. So there you, we go. Can yeah. just, you can just draw <laughs> something and big. cut it out of a piece cut of paper out. and take just it out. Take and, that you in. Know, yeah. You know, as long as it's... I think the, the important thing is it all goes back to books. And, you know, if the focus is on books and reading, then that's the that's main, the thing, main right? thing, So there we go. Look at these things. I'm yes. slightly like great staggered horses. by how really? good that yeah. drawing is. So Sorry. imagine going into school, waving your horse and showing that that's the thing that you're really And then being able to tell the reading. story and then you Absolutely. Say, yeah. about and the pet that you drew. The, yeah, yes. Come back to the book and say... And children feel really proud when they've created something themselves. It just doesn't have to cost a lot. So this is one of the ideas that's in World Book Day's low-cost um, alternatives to dressing up options that you can find on the World Book Day website, along with lots of other ideas for getting into the spirit and really enjoying reading. I've just noticed your necklace. Why, that's amazing, you. isn't well, it? Yes, well, I think so. It's a bookshelf necklace. So this is how I express my enthusiasm for reading and, um, yeah, and what I care about, which is, of course, books and reading. Do you, do you think that the whole, you know, pressure to have a costume and for some parents having to spend money or feeling they have to spend money, has it gone too far? Well, it is one of the reasons we're encouraging everyone to think about there being alternative ways to mm. celebrate books and reading. So um, it, can, it can really be something that people want to get into and it does work for lots of people. people. Lots of children and families and schools get joy out of the dressing up and for others, it's just not going to work, whether that's because of cost of living pressures um, or just because they prefer not to. One of the things we know is that um, fewer children are choosing to read for pleasure. So we need to make sure, as a charity that's here to encourage that, that everybody feels included. So if dressing up isn't for you, take the pressure off, just enjoy reading together. And Rob, I guess one of the key things is what we're trying to do is to get children to use their own imaginations a little bit more, which this is the start point, I suppose. Well, exactly. I mean, that's the whole thing about reading for pleasure. It's like, I think, you know, we say children who read succeed and it is all about engaging the imagination and curiosity. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you can't wait to turn the page to see what happens in the story, that kind of translates, I think, to finding out, you know, how fold mountains work or, you know, the, about the War of the Roses, you know, so it's all kind of linked to learning and, you know, expand, you know, broadening horizons. So, um, yeah, it's great. Some really good ideas. Thank yeah. you both. I, I think we should take the pressure off ourselves and just come to work, Sal, in, in our, our pyjamas every morning, yeah? <laughs> I think one day we'll do that. <laughs> that I'd totally be up for that. Thank you both very much <laughs> Thank indeed. You. Thank you. Tomorrow I will not be in my pyjamas, but I will be live <laughs> at a primary school in Essex where we will be uh, marking World Book Day. I will bring my horse with me. Take mine as well. Um, Give yeah, that to someone special tomorrow. I'll do that. I'll yeah. do that. It's, of course, it's also tomorrow the final, the grand royal final of 500 Words competition, which we've been promoting here on Breakfast for the last year. Uh, the final's on BBC One tomorrow night. Some good stories? Yes, some amazing stories. I mean, just, like, mind-blowingly brilliant stories that have been written by kids across the country. So we'll be celebrating those stories tomorrow, as well as the famous stories by, uh, by world-famous authors and illustrators too. Sounds fabulous. Yeah.